right, what's going on YouTube? So we're doing a go-kart build over here at my dad's house. Um, we got an old snowblower we're tore apart. Rip this part off. It's a, uh, what is it that? The Toro. Oh, here we go. It's a Toro 521. Three speed with reverse. Well, this is pretty sick. And instead of unbolting the motor from the chassis and bolting it to the go kart's old frame, he's going to leave the bottom half on and use the three speed so we have gear and reverse. So that might, should be interesting. So, uh, yeah, right now he's chopping off this rear piece of the chassis. And he said he's going to use this as a fender. So, yeah, they're going to use these as the drive shafts for the wheels. They're going to put the wheels right on there, weld them to it. And they're going to use these nice meaty tires off of the snowblower. They're going to use the tires off the snowblower for it instead of the dinky old flat tires. So, yeah. We'll see how she goes. Probably have to change the gearing around a little bit, but we'll figure it out. We cut this now rear bar out. Now it's down there where I put wheels on it in a little bit. This is going to be all the way down here, I think. You might have to cut you that probably have to say you probably have to trim that off. Yeah. Relocate right your spring. There. Relocate your spring. Trim your skid that's gonna, that's gonna give us a little break. Yeah, okay. I think we're pretty good right there. Well, the tires are going to lift it off the ground a good three feet. I mean, you got this much from this. So you're probably going to have that much of clearance. That's plenty. That's like three inches. Weld it together here. We're going to plate it over there. The piece I cut off, break across here. Where's that piece right there? Huh? Where's that piece I cut off? Oh, that's a good one. It's kind of warm. I think we brought it on right here. And then get this hooked to this piece right here. We should be going. Wheels do what? And we gotta get down a little foot as far as we can. But we'll take, take the it. other little piece you took it off and stick it in there somehow and weld it. Because you got it another be, little chunk. That'll probably work. That's really close. Right? And then you can put that in there if you really want to. And it'll be extra support. I'm gonna have to weld it, yeah. Almost hold it tight. Hold it up the one here and then weld it up. Better, what if you put it over that bowl? If you just a little tension on it. Pretty much right there, like Joe's got it. Just weld it a couple places and we're riding. So it seems like we didn't have to cut that piece out. Oh well. Just cut out, <laughs> that? No, no. Piece. no, not really, but I, you couldn't get it in there. So. What is going back on? What I want to do is put all this stuff inside. You super glue. On here, so set in place. All right, so we'll be back in a couple more seconds. It's right in there, huh? We got the cover goes over that. There it is. Custom red. It's all scuffed. Custom red now. Custom red now. There you go. Get this. Look, so you don't get your fucking hippie pony tail stuck in there. Hippie redneck, so you don't get your ponytail stuck, he says. See? Yeah. Make that a meme, guys. Hippie rednecks get a color so they don't get their ponytail stuck. Make that a meme. <laughs> by the way, Ben, your girlfriend stopped by as soon as you left. She rode her bike all the way to the house. Sunny. <laughs> she rode her bike all the way to the house. She was there as soon as they left. I like the little muffler. Yeah, we're gonna put side pipes on. No wonder why she would have something like that. See, those skid boards right there, them crumb looking bitches. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hook to the back of this. Yeah. We're gonna use them as drag pipes. Wow. Exhaust will come out up here behind us. Here's the exhaust for it too. That's my gear guys. Watch out now. 
Here's the first, first and third and reverse. I got a muscle in there. Lock that up somehow. I need to get this up where I gotta have it so I can figure out where I gotta weld at. Pretty close, ain't it, Ben? Yeah. We gotta get clearance here. We gotta jack the frame up up there. I guess we'll slide the tire on you. I'm going over it now. So I grab a hold of this car. I'm gonna throw that. I'm gonna lift the motor up. I'm gonna take that so fucking big grease in there. Uh, a little welding here shortly. Sometimes I'll stick the motor up so you can glue it on. You ready? Mm -hmm. Then we really want to get shot. Oh, you guys tore that motor off of that thing? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. There you go. That's all right. I'll do the one behind. Yeah. Almost got it. Yeah. Did you turn the snow blower off of the fucking go-kart? Uh-huh. Redneck, you should. Hey, Mike. There it is, man. That's the first prototype ability. And fired up and we're rolling. We Short wheelbase. Need to cut these off and weld them to that so you can bring your wheels out tomorrow. New wheels, huh? Yeah. No, just to bring your wheel out farther. rolls, you know. So I'm saying to cut the shaft off, weld it to that shaft and bring it out so you can have a wider wheelbase than that. I'm kind of liking that. I'm digging that. I'm digging that right now. Better just an idea. That's next season. Right? Yeah, just an idea. Hmm, this is, man, we gotta line up this motor and see what exactly You don't even have to weld the wheels on. Is the car Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Alright, so it's getting dark. Um, I don't think we're gonna finish it tonight, so we'll do an update. But so far, we cut that rear chassis part out. We got two pieces of angle bar. We're gonna weld to this uh, red piece of whatever you want to call it. Um, like he said, these are going to be his uh, mud flaps. He's got the shifter around here somewhere. Uh, I don't remember where it went, but he's going to stick it right here. Um, we got the wheels on the shaft. And, uh, you go ahead and still fight. So that's what we got so far. All right, guys, well, it's getting dark, so we're going to have to take over tomorrow. We got it pretty much finished. Um, we'll do an update once it's completely finished. Um, basically, it just needs welded to there and uh, shifter linkage hookup and the seat put back on it, and it's ready to ride. So, uh, if you enjoyed it, put a thumbs up. If you want to see part two of this build, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you ain't already subscribed for more snowblower go-kart build and i'll see you tomorrow peace out